here we have another uh, more slightly complicated substituent pattern for what we recognize as generally a staggered conformation. And in this case, we actually have a substituted butane because we have uh, two additional methyl groups. So we have four carbons total. So this is a 2,3-dichlorobutane. And we wanted to see uh, what the symmetry operations that we have here are. Now, despite the way the molecule is constructed, it splits in half, but we noticed that this does not correspond to a mirror because if it were a mirror, <clears throat> it would reflect a methyl group and a chlorine, and they're not the same. And uh, we've color-coded the substituent groups to make it easier to recognize when groups are the same and when they're different. Um, in previous model, models, we've used a slightly artistic color scheme. Um, at times, we bar borrowed from the, uh, the palette of Pete Mondrian, for example. In this case, I've tried to use the more common color coding schemes that are often used to represent particular elements. For example, in many molecular modeling programs, hydrogen is denoted by a gray color, chlorine by green, uh, and carbon by a light blue, a cyan. Um, because red is prominent, I've used red in this case for a methyl group. Yeah, so we notice that red doesn't go into green, methyl doesn't reflect into chlorine. So we do not have a mirror along this line. <clears throat> but the reason for building the model this particular way is it does have a symmetry operation for which this works out. If we put our skewer through the side again, you want to see if we have a C2 operation. So we slide this through the molecule. There we go. We see that if we rotate the left side by 180 degrees along this axis, that the molecule actually returns to the conformation that it had before. It has a methyl group on the left side and a chlorine on the right. Now the fact that the the labeling for the chlorine is upside down is not relevant. Um, depending upon how you draw it, if you flip it over, the orientation of the letters will not make a difference. In reality, atoms do not have alphanumeric labels. Um, so when they rotate in, real, in the real world, we don't have to worry about the lettering going upside down. But we do see that we do have a C2 operation. And in fact, other than the identity, that is the only symmetry operation that we have. Now you might suspect, oh, Ah, but don't we have a mirror? Because I can see a methyl, a red in the front, and a methyl red in the back on the left side. On the right side, I see green and green. Isn't that a mirror? Well, no, because if we had a mirror plane, uh, roughly corresponding to where I'm doing a karate chop with my hand, the methyl in front would go to the back at the bottom, but we see that the methyl in the back is at the top. The same for the chlorine in front. The chlorine, if it were reflected in the back, would be chlorine at the bottom, not a chlorine at the top. So we have no mirrors in this. <clears throat> we only have the identity and we have a C2. So this again is an example of the point group C2. Here we have an even more complicated substituent pattern for what is a framework of a staggered alkane. We have two methyl groups on the back. So this substituent pattern is a 1,1 dichloro 2 methylpropane. So we can actually get relatively complicated alkanes simply using this type of molecule, model. So what we want to figure out is what is the point group of this particular molecule? And we can see right, right, right away <clears throat> that we no longer have a C3 rotational axis along this way because it would take chlorine into hydrogen. So there's no C3 that way. And we're so also looking for such things as C2s. And we would see pretty quickly that if we try to uh, demonstrate a C2 that there are no C2s. And in fact, the only interesting non-trivial uh, symmetry operation for this particular molecule is going to be the mirror. So we actually do have a mirror plane that cuts straight down through the molecule. So it re reflects chlorine into chlorine, methyl group into methyl, Hydrogen goes right to itself. Hydrogen just goes to itself. So here we've seen that we've lowered the symmetry all the way down to CS. So with that, we conclude episode 11. 
Have a good one.